Hey guys, I think this is the last time, the final time to do this car video and how to install to install the cardiness on the Chromebook. So well, let's start. So what you need to do, the first thing is you need to <coughs> you download a Python script. So so well, this link. And the Crouton script is here now, and you need to add the Crouton extension to your Chromebook as well. And then, well, the one thing I want to say is this video is the most easiest way to install Kalinux on your Chromebook. Is the easiest way. You have never seen it, so. Well, let's start. So, you go to Good on Shell. Right. Um, shell. And I've document some locks. You just, you just need to copy and paste this kind of com this this commands, and you get. You get the Kalinux, right? And then execute this commands. All we need to do is just wait until it's finished, right? So now you just need to enter your username and the password. This password um, we'll be using to. Not in as the as root, so you need to memorize it. Okay. Right. So now what you said is you can start to to start. You can you can start here C D Y S to start except C D for command, but if you start it. You will see this screen. Um, wow. It's devil config. And what you can see now, I am moving my finger in the touchpad, but the cursor doesn't move. Why? Because you need, you need to have more pressure on the touchpad like this. Then you can the cursor move. This is the bad thing on XFCE four XFCE. Yeah, the the XFCE target. So we need to install the additional things. And before that, if you open the browser. What you can see is you are using a do no web browser. That's this is what we don't want it. So later we will I will tell you how to delete it. But let's shut down the Kali first, and then we will reinstall the next things that you can that. You don't need to use so much pressure on your touchpad, so that the cursor can move it easily. Right. So we need to install um update our root to have a CV target. So this is security command. I'll upload everything on the description as well. So let's wait, and this is fucking fast. Right. So now it's finished, and then you enter sudo xfc start sudo start xfc four again, and then your cursor, the cursor can be moved easily.
like this. I don't, I don't even. I just, I just move on the touchpad. I don't even apply the hard pressure on it. And um, right. So now, what we would do is um settings. Manager. I will. I will config the settings to never shut down. Well, it's up to you, but that's my habits. Um, now what you need to do is. Delete the web browser. I don't like do no web browser, so I will delete it and install the Kali default web browser with Firefox. So enter this command. Fuck this fucking command. You will enter your password as well, and then just wait until it finish. And then you now it's done. You can <coughs> what the fuck? Um, oh wait, just a second. Um. No, it's not like this. Wait just a second. Um. Oh, okay. Um. Well. Let's um. I will edit the source dot list first. Um, go to etc apt sources dot list. What the fuck? What is? Oh, all right. So, I just added this to have the HTTPS connection in the repository, which we download the entire source. Right, yes. So now, what I will do is app get uh, update. And should do app get um that's why install um Kali Linux pool. Then I think your web browser will be. Firefox. Right. So now, the command is finished, and um, we have the Kalinux full package installed. And we want to look at now is the web browser. So, let's get a web browser icon, and you will find this is the Firefox. Um, you can use Tor browser as well. You just need to install it. Um, Google. There's not a way to install the Tor browser, which is about someone. So that's it. This Linux, the easiest way to install on the Chromebook. You just it is where you just need to install XFCE and CV. 
no matter which one you install first is is doesn't matter you can install cv first and update to xfce you can install xfce first and then update to cv yeah that's it thanks for watching and bye <laughs>